I am getting ready to go out right now. I'm headed over to my friend's place and then we're gonna go to the garment district together to get some supplies because we are going to head to school in the afternoon and do some stuff in studio. I haven't been back to school in three weeks and I don't know, I'm kind of excited to go back and do some work because I've been wanting to make a bucket bag so I think today I'm gonna start prototyping and playing around with some patterns you know like there's a like I feel like you look so cool carrying that <laughs> After making our way around the garment district, we stopped at home for a bit to grab some other stuff before heading over to Parsons. Oh yeah, I can read that. Didn't, didn't you read that? Yeah, right? Right? And a poncho? <laughs> I want my friends to be able to build a uniform. Yeah. School is very chill during the summertime and we were kind of just peeping into the windows of the buildings across from us as we were eating. I am getting ready to go out. I think I'm going to carry one of the bags that I made this semester out today. I've never carried one of my bags out before and used them. It's not the biggest bag, so I just have my wallet and makeup pouch in here. And then I'm just gonna put my phone. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. After lunch, we headed to the Met to see Karl Lagerfeld and Van Gogh. The queues for them weren't too bad. We walked around the permanent exhibitions as we waited and honestly, I wasn't really expecting much because I had already been to the Met so many times before. But I saw so many new things that I felt like hadn't been there before or maybe I had overlooked, but it was just so fun and I really can never get sick of this museum. There's just something new that I discover every single time I go. My favorite things to see are beds and interior spaces and snuff boxes. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love those little snuff boxes. The Karl Lagerfeld exhibition opened with some questionable pieces, but it got better as we walked in and I was actually really surprised at the amount of pieces that were on display because I thought it would be really small. So it was really nice to see so many designs and it was pretty great to see the evolution of all of Carl's designs. Afterwards, we went to Van Gogh's Cypresses and dare I say, I might have actually liked this exhibition a little bit more out of the two.
I woke up so late today. I actually woke up at 6 a.m. But then <laughs> I looked at the time and I was like, nope, not today. Today I headed over to Industry City. It's maybe my second time here, but I recently discovered that there's a Japan village in this area. So my friend and I decided to go check it out. I came across a lot of these artist studios like this one of shoemakers, which was so cool. And I don't know, I was just thinking about my future as a creative and it would be such a dream to have a little studio of my own one day somewhere in Brooklyn or in the city. second to last token. The next day, I spent the first half of it just being alone and taking some time for myself. I started to find myself feeling a little bit drained just from seeing people every single day this week. And although I love seeing my friends every day, I just think I overestimated my ability to handle social interaction and forgot that I also need to take some time for myself and isolate a little bit in order to recharge or else I'll just end up feeling really really tired. So yeah, just really spent the first half of my day just me and God having some alone time and kind of just dumping my brain out a little bit. In the afternoon, I went out with Leo to a hat exhibition at FIT that our professor had told us about. It was really inspiring and seeing all the different types of hats kind of pushed us to think about making hats ourselves as well and we only stayed for a short bit. But after that, we started talking about working on a summer collection together and just walking through the streets of the city. We were getting so inspired and so excited, basically just feeding off of all the energy around us and off of each other as well. We were really just pushing out a ton of ideas and this here is the moment when Hazy Summer, our little summer collab collection, was born. I, wait, stop. I'm gonna keep you going. Stop. I, and then the bag needs to be like a little cloud icon but like shape with like two tails sticking out, almost like a bag. 
You know what they say. And that one Disney Channel show, Jesse. Jesse. You know Jesse? It feels it's like, like a party. party every day. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was just like think about the type of hats that we wanted to do. Uh, so we're gonna... <laughs> I am back home. I had such a fulfilling day today. So you know how I was saying earlier today? that I was feeling I was hanging out with people too much and that it was draining me a little bit. Well, I actually feel so, so energized after hanging out with Leo. It always inspires me so much and really gets me pumping with ideas and new projects and just like design work. I am hosting a little gathering at my place today with a few of my friends and I'm super excited. I love hosting at my place and I love having people over and right now I'm doing a little bit of prep before people get here. I am making a huache right now so I can put it in the fridge and have it chill for a few hours before everybody gets here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you ready? Today's my rest day. Wait, say hi to my camera. Hello. Yes. <laughs> okay. After prepping the watermelon, we went to grab some games at the store and then headed back home. I started making some homemade guacamole and found out that my eyes don't water when I cut onions, which is a nice little superpower. Oh, I'm sorry. But eyes. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. How? I don't really tear ah, up when ah, I cut onions. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. That's not very big. And then people started rolling in. I've never had a big friend group and I still don't. My circle is kept small. But it was really nice to be able to gather friends all together during summer and just chill and enjoy each other's presence. And then of course, we ended the night in the best way possible, sitting on the floor and eating chicken. I like really strong tea flavor. Mm. Mm. Pretty good. Mm. Okay, guys, let's see. Look at that. Maybe we have more off later. Oh, yes. Mmm. Mm. 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 Mm
Oh, really? Yeah. 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 After our amazingly delicious meal in Chinatown, we adventured around a bit and walked through Soho, went into some shops to look at accessories, and we found this really cool leather belt shop, and the owner gave us some leather samples, which was really nice. Our walk took us to the pier, and we settled down and continued our discussion on the new collection and did some sketches, but mostly just kind of relaxed and laid on the grass and did nothing. <laughs>